Hello everyone. In this video lesson, let us learn about expanding brackets. Let us understand this topic through an example. For time being, let us consider pizzas and burgers as algebraic terms. Sometimes you often see that some food items are sold together. Say here three pizzas and two burgers are sold together. Even though these two are two different items, since they are sold together, let us use bracket to represent one packet. So one packet contains three pizzas and two burgers. So whenever we are considering two terms or three terms together, we enclose them in brackets to represent them as a single unit. Let us consider you have ordered the two packets of three pizzas and two burgers. Uh, mathematically, we can also represent like this. So two times of three pizzas and two burgers can be written as one package plus another package. In your previous lesson, you learned about collecting like terms. Let us collect all pizzas together and all burgers together. So here you can notice that two sets of three pizzas and two sets of two burgers. That we can write it as two times three pizzas and two times two burgers. Let us use this as example for our further study of expanding brackets. Let us understand this concept using algebraic terms. Here there are two terms 2b and 3p and they are enclosed in bracket making them as one unit. Let us see what happens when this unit is taken two times. So here we have two times or two multiplied by 2b plus 3p. Two times of these packets can be written as one time of 2b plus 3p and another time of 2b plus 3p. Gathering like terms or collecting like terms, we have 2b and 2b together and 3p, 3p together. And you can see 2b two times. So two times of 2b and two times of 3p. So two times of 2b is 4b and two times of 3p is 6p. So we have 4b plus 6p as final expression. Let's take one more example. 3 times of 5x minus 4. Now we need not write all these steps. So I'm just directly doing from this step. So what happens? This will become 3 times of 5x and 3 times of 4. These two terms are separated by subtraction. So we should ensure that they are subtracted. So which means 3 times of 5x from this 3 times of 4 has been subtracted. So we get 50x minus 12. Expanding bracket is nothing but distributive property. 3 has been distributed to 5x and 3 has been distributed to 4. So this is distributive property over subtraction whereas this is distributive property over addition. Let us look into some other examples. After I raise this board, I will apply math magic, abracadabra. Board has been erased, math magic works. 